Hello guys, welcome back. This is a Logic Writer tutorial. Let's take a look. So this Logic Input Output Kit can be crafted or printed in Electro Printer and fabricator so i'm going to place it on the frame and we will do something with it if you have the logic input output kit in your hands use the mouse wheel to switch to different logic chips now we can see how it looks on the frame in the bottom left corner there is the input screw in the top right corner there is the output screw and the bottom right corner there is a screw for variable i do have the logic writer and logic writer can read only few devices directly if you can't read a device directly with logic writer you need to use a logic reader so i'm going to build extremely easy circuit i will get this logic switch i will use it as my input device i will rotate it and maybe i can use more i do have these dial switches or just these dials here so let's connect it to the logic writer just one for now so if I want to pro program the logic writer, I will click this screw, input, and I can see the logic writer can read this device directly. But if I will put there, let's say, a gas sensor, let's try. If I will remove this dial, and if I will try, let's say, the gas sensor, we will see if, if I can read it with the logic writer. No, I can't. And it says no other readable devices on network. So I can't read gas sensor with the logic writer, but I can do it with the logic reader. So I will place this dial back and we will play with it a little bit. I want to display a number maybe here so i will need some consoles and i will use again a large led display just like this so now i will connect this puppy to the power and i need to program it with a screwdriver so the input is going to be this dial here the output is this LED large and the variable which I want to use it is going to be setting so let's try it so the logic reader is running I will switch this dial to 1 and the logic writer shows 1 but I don't have any power in this LED display so let's connect the LED display to the power just like this if I will switch on this LED display we can see the number so let's try our numbers I will use a screwdriver on this dial and I will increase it to 5 so now I can change the numbers from 0 to 5 and the logic writer when you will take a look on it it displays exactly same number as on large LED display. In previous episode about the logic reader, I was talking about these variables here that you can change with a screwdriver, and that's basically the data type. So let's try something else with the logic writer. If you want to change the color of this number, I need to change the variable. So 
So let's do it. Let's set it to color. Just like this. And we will see the number is changing the colors. But we are not changing the number. Just the color. So let's get this number, this color. So I will change the data type again. So from color, I will change it to mode. Now we can see the mode one is the percentage. When I will change this mode, something different. This is mode zero, which does nothing. And let's change it to mode two, which is uh, displaying the like a power in watts. So basically, we have there a number one, and there is a W with it. So it's one watt. And this is the modes for logic writer. So I will turn it off. And what about if you want to change the number and the color together, right? I will place more dials on the frame. One here and one over there. And I will place more logic writers. So let's place one here and one over there. But I need to get the power. So I need to move this one somewhere else. So let's place it here. So now we can program our easy circuit. So let's say this guy will display the number. This guy will display or it will change the color. And this guy over here will change the mode. All right. I will need a little bit more cables just like this and power to this logic writer and we should be all right so let's program it with a screwdriver this guy will change the number so let's set it to five or let's say to three so this logic writer the input is this guy here and the variable we need, we need to set the output so it is going to be the led display large and we will set the variable to setting this guy is going to change the color so let's try number five so this logic writer input is dial output is exactly same led display and the variable is color and this guy here let's set it to i don't know three so logic writer input is this dial here the output is led large and the variable is old just like this but i still need a little bit more cables because we don't have a power here so it won't work so let's connect it crazy crazy just like this and let's try our circuit and of course this led display is still displaying number one i will turn on this guy the number is changed on the led display because this writer is writing the number already and it is happening every half of a second in a real time so let's set this dial to, I don't know, number three. We want to change the color. So I will start the logic writer for the color. And it reads this dial, which is zero. And the zero is this color. 
it's probably blue or purple i don't know i'm colorblind so let's use this guy this logic writer and this one is set in mode and mode zero is nothing so let's try to change the mode the mode one is in percentage and mode two is uh, like a power consumption if you want to display the consumption of your base for example so there is going to be a number and watts or kilowatts behind it so if we will play with it a little bit we can change the color and we can change the number and we can change the mode so logic writers are really really useful chips and you will use them a lot if you are building something with a old style chips like these chips in front of me you will use it a lot of course you can do it with ic chip as well and it is much much easier and you will save a lot of space in your base because you don't need uh, many walls for logic chips but you need to learn a little bit of programming so to make it a little bit more understandable i will spawn some colors so let's get blue color or blue paint so this dial and this logic writer that's one type of data so yellow now this puppy and this puppy that's another type of data the so white color is the last one so this dial and this writer are displaying different data as well so we have only one display but we are displaying now three different things we are displaying the number we are displaying the colors or we can change the colors and the data type or the variable and we are changing the mode with this dial here so basically we are doing three things at once with three different chips in one device and that's our led display i will set everything to zero even this one and i will switch off this guy and this guy i will take the dial off just like this the logic writer is now flashing because it is displaying an error like yo man what did you do i have no device where i can read some data so please help me we are going to help this guy so i will get logic reader somewhere here and i will place a gas sensor so this is going to be our gas sensor so now i will use a wire cutters and the cable so i'm going to connect this gas sensor to this logic reader and then i can remove all these cables for easier programming so just like this and of course i will need the power here to the logic reader so let's do it and i will program this easy tear cut so logic reader the input is this gas sensor the variable which we want to read let's say pressure just like that and we have the pressure and this guy here will read this logic reader which is reading this gas sensor so the input is this logic reader 
The output is the LED display, large, and we will change the variable setting. So now we will have this number over there. If you would like to see more tutorials like this, let me know in the comments under the video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. This is the way.